Hello and welcome to Five for Friday for this Friday, August 4th, 2023. I sure hope you enjoy watching these videos at least half as much as I enjoy putting them together. I just love to read the news, make connections between stories, and ponder the potential impacts of these topics on small businesses like you. Um, as always, I make these videos available completely free, either through an email sign up on my webpage at learnstartgrow.com or by subscribing on my at learnstartgrow YouTube channel. If I reference a newsletter, then I'm referring to my paid newsletter, which shares the same five stories as this video, just in more detail, including hyperlinks to the original sources, and a bit more on why these stories stood out to me and why they should matter to you. If you're curious, reach out and I'll share a sample copy with you so you can decide if it's worth a small investment to upgrade to both the written and the video content. All right, enough about that. Let's get started with this week's topics. We'll start with topic number one, trends in the world of retail and restaurants. Some trends are technology-based, like Wayfair's offering an AI tool to virtually remodel your living room, or grocery stores that are investing heavily in, you guessed it, AI to track and predict consumer interests and spending. Fast food chains are moving rapidly to AI-based chatbots for order taking, and one expert predicts that in three years, no humans will be taking orders at all. Other retail trends in the news include the challenges of hiring influencers to dine at your restaurant, as they've been known to order way more food than they said they would, or even fail to post anything at all. Perhaps not a good marketing strategy. And mushroom leather may or may not be the next big thing, depending on whether it can get funding, since it's not AI, so who's going to fund it? <laughs> um, a few more stories in the newsletter, so check that out if you subscribe to the paid version. The key message here for everyone, not just retailers, the world is changing all around us. Are you keeping up? Or are you going to fall behind? Moving on to story number two, China is always in the news. This week, they're in the news for having issues of deflation, falling prices, rather than the inflation that's impacting the rest of the world. Deflation isn't a good thing, though, and the government is working on it. So also in the news, China is the world's top EV exporter, and the US is in a race against the clock with China when it comes to developing self-driving cars if we don't want China to define and own the technology and its supply chain. Let's get innovating, my tech friends. Finally, China is proposing to place a two-hour limit on smartphone use for kids under 18. I'm not sure how they'll enforce that limit or what it will mean to the kids in China. Will they be smarter than kids in the US? Happier? Out of touch with the world? All of the above? None? An interesting little experiment if it works. And with that, let's move on to story number three, worker shortages. Perhaps you've noticed that we are still woefully short on construction workers and other trades like electricians, HVAC, and plumbers. This is slowing down commercial construction, as well as home repairs and renovations. Some jobs, like customer service rep, can be replaced through automation, but those jobs are not as easily replaced by robots or technology. And if you don't want to have a worker shortage of your own, then consider paying a fair salary rather than encouraging customers to tip a growing trend beyond restaurants and make sure you are approachable and transparent so your employees don't have to complain about you anonymously on the new Glassdoor platform designed just for that. All right, moving on to story number four, the latest in EVs. Maybe not everyone wants one yet? To Toyota has changed its mind about moving to only EVs and decided to reintroduce its gas guzzling Land Cruiser in the U.S. Also, seven EV car companies are coming together to blanket North America with thousands of fast charging plugs to compete against Tesla, who currently dominates the market for chargers. Perhaps you'll see these new charging plugs at a fast food restaurant near you. Subway, Taco Bell, and Starbucks are all investing in kind of a rest stop model that includes EV charging stations and seating to eat while your car charges. Welcome to the new version of the gas station convenience store. Watch out, Quick Trip and other convenience stores like that. And finally, in EVs, make sure you know what kind of data your car is collecting from you, your cameras, and your onboard entertainment slash GPS device, because car companies are collecting massive amounts of data, both to improve self-driving cars, Tesla's doing that, and to better sell to you or sell you to everyone else. For some crazy reason, all this talk about EVs and charging makes me think of an old TV series, old as in 10 years ago, called Revolution. It took place in a post-apocalyptic world 15 years after there was a worldwide permanent electrical power blackout. Just food for thought. All right, let's move on to our final story, number five, new uses for robots. 
The most recent uses I saw in the news include remote medical treatment in hazardous areas, unloading trucks, operating forklifts, and stacking boxes in distribution centers, fulfilling Instacart-like grocery orders with a special robot in a special grocery fulfillment center versus a person running around the actual store, making repairs in space and performing tasks on the moon, and controlled burn robots and AI wildfire detectives to help prevent wildfires. Cool stuff, but obviously requires some major upfront capital investment. Have you done the math to see if some form of automation doesn't have to be robots, but might pay off in the long run for you? Maybe it's time to do that math. Finally, one quick bonus story. Did you know that Saturday, August 5th is National Mustard Day? How would you celebrate such a day? I bet you'll never guess the way French's Mustard is celebrating. They've partnered with Skittles to make classic yellow mustard flavored Skittles. Yum? All right, thanks for joining me with the Six Five for Friday. Again, if you want to get all the links, all the resources, and my full take on these topics, be sure to check out my paid subscription newsletter that gives you everything in the video and more. And as always, I hope you'll sign up to receive these videos directly from me or subscribe on YouTube so you can continue to hear about these signals of change that could impact your small business. Thanks for watching and happy Friday.